Hello everyone, this is Sean here. I'm going to provide a brief demonstration on how to change the oil on a 2006 through 2008 Triumph Daytona 675 and Triumph Speed Triple 675. First off, we're going to start the bike and let it get up to operating temperature. This gets the oil warm enough so that we can uh, drain it with the ease. Now that we've got the bike warmed up, we'll let it sit a little bit and I will show you what we will be doing. This is the oil filter and this right here is the oil drain bolt that we will be removing. So to do this, I'm going to use an oil drain pan, a funnel for putting the oil in. Uh, a 12 millimeter, excuse me, a 13 millimeter uh, wrench and your choice of oil and filter. I prefer to use AMS oil with a high flow racing filter. That is up for debate. Um, oil is similar to religion. You can go back and forth however you want. So the first thing we're going to do here is open up the oil deposit here. This lets us get some air coming in here. Set that down out of the way. Alright. So now we can drain the oil. Opening that up just lets it a little, makes it a little easier to drain. Alrighty, so I had a little bit of trouble breaking it loose there. Had to pause the video momentarily. Now I got it. And so I'm simply going to unscrew the bolt. You can kind of feel when it's about to come out. You want to grab it. You don't want to let the oil just, or the bolt sit in all the oil there. So you can see I'm about there. Half a turn and should pull out. Alrighty. Got a little bit on me. Not too bad though, honestly. Alright, so we'll let the oil drain out. We'll put the uh, bolt over in a nice clean place. Wipe that down, wipe my hand down. Alrighty, now that we have the oil just about drained out here, we're going to loosen this filter. Again, I'm probably going to have to pause the video to break it loose. This is the first oil change I've done on this bike, so I'm sure the filter is caked on there pretty well. I don't know how long ago the previous owner changed the oil. So I'm going to break this loose and then I will be right back. Alrighty, so that filter was kicked on there pretty good, so I had to use the uh, good old fashioned screwdriver and hammer trick. But I eventually got her, you can see I've had to poke a few holes and use a screwdriver to rotate it. First break it loose. Got a little messy here, but we'll wipe the headers down and that'll burn right off anyway. So, you can remove the old oil filter. Looks like we're still dripping a little, so we'll let that uh, finish up and settle. We'll try to clean that area up, make sure we get all the sediment that sits at the bottom there. Alrighty, so next we're going to grab our new oil filter, and before you actually put it on, you definitely want to make sure and you can use the old oil here. You definitely want to make sure that you lube up this seal, this little gasket around the edge here. And that ensures that the 
new oil filter will seal up nice and snugly with the motorcycle itself. All right, so we're simply going to screw this on. If I can find the threads here. There we go. And personally, I recommend just getting it nice and snug with your hand, but definitely don't need to use this uh, oil filter, oil filter um, nut on the top to tighten it down. If you need to, you can use that when releasing the next, uh, releasing the filter on the next oil change. But for now, I'm just going to hand snug it, and I'll, uh, I'll keep it right there. So after we have the oil filter installed itself, um, one suggestion is just to go a tiny little counter turn to kind of release some of that pressure from the gasket and let it seal up there right where it's supposed to. Alrighty, so next we'll grab our funnel. Bring it over here. Stick it in there nice and firmly, and we will put our oil in. Now I'm going to start off by putting only three quarts in and uh, measuring it from there and seeing where I'm at. One thing for, I forgot to show before putting the oil in, obviously replace the oil drain bolts. So moving to the other side of the bike, after filling it uh, with three quarts of oil, you're going to check this. This is the oil level check. And I had already removed it and cleaned it. That's one thing you'll want to do. So first off, you'll take it out, you'll wipe it down with a rag, put it back in, completely tighten it. And as you can see here, we're a little short. We're above the low mark, which is that bottom part that sticks out there a little bit um, toward the middle of the screen there and the top mark is right there so we're right in the middle between the bottom and top i'm going to fill it a little more get it right next to that top mark there so there you may be able to get a better look at it see that bottom notch that's the low level the top notch is the high level we're somewhere in the middle there put this back in and top it off and one thing to note is you want the bike to be perfectly up and down so doing this by yourself you may need to get a board or some other object to prop up underneath the side stand to get the bike to be about as uh, perpendicular to the ground as you possibly can so here we go I'm going to add a little more in here a nice gold color what you want to see. The oil down here is pretty dark in my opinion so I'm certainly glad I changed it when I did. Alrighty so I'm going to wipe this down again and check it one more time. Alrighty so after checking it again you can see we're just about to the top here um, and we still need to run the motor again and cycle the engine oil through the motor itself and into the new oil filter. So that's the next thing we'll do here. We will tighten that back down. We'll pull this off here. Grab the oil cap again. Screw this back on. And then I will start the motor, run it for another five to 10 minutes and check the oil again to make sure that we're uh, at the correct level. So somewhere between three and usually three and a half quarts is typical for these motors. 
Um, I will, once after I run it, I will then check the engine oil level again and top it off as needed. But there you have it. Essentially all you have to do now is reinstall your left side fairing and you should be good to go. Please like and subscribe for more how-to videos and feel free to ask any questions in the comment area below. Thank you very much for watching.